Hey guys, what's up? This is Nain here from Tech Barrack Solutions and today in this Android tutorial, we will learn how we can install Google Now on our Android device which is not running Jelly Bean. What do we require? We require an Android device which, is, which should be rooted and it should be running a custom recovery like Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. I will be using Clockwork Mod Recovery for this tutorial and second your device must be having ARM version 7 CPU architecture if you don't know please google it up you will get some good articles on stackoverflow.com on what is ARM v7 uh, CPU architecture and third you must have a application of file explorer which has root permissions you can use ES file explorer it is a free software and I am using that software for this tutorial so let's go with the procedure of installing Google now on our Android device. First step is to install the flashable zip. Now install the latest version because this is still being developed by three XDA members that is Mikey XDA, Lenny underscore Cano and Rico Tubbs. So these are the three guys who are developing it. So it is still in its alpha or beta stage and it is undergoing a lot of testing. So only if you think you should be installing it, then only do it. Otherwise, don't take the risk. We need to install the flashable zip. So select the latest version. I will be using Mikey XDA's version 6. And you can install either one of these files that is offline or online via Mediafire or online only via Mediafire. Now offline or online basically means that you will have some offline Google Now features plus online Google Now features. So I would suggest you should go for offline or online uh, via Mediafire. Just click on it and install the file. That's the zip file. Once you download it, you will have something like this, like what's on my desktop, mikey6 underscore offline dot zip. Next, let me prove that I am not running Jelly Bean. So let me go to my system settings of my Android device. Then I need to go to about phone and over there right at the bottom I have 4.0.4 which is not Jelly Bean. Next step is to connect your Android device to your personal computer. So take the micro USB cable and connect it to your Android device. Once you have connected the micro USB cable to your Android device, connect the USB part that's the proper USB part that's the standard USB part or the standard USB port to your personal computer once you have done that on your Android device just turn down the notification bar and click on USB connected and click on turn on USB and just wait as you can see USB storage is in use now that's what we wanted now on your Postal computer you will have your SD card getting mount mounted and just transfer this Mikey 6 underscore offline or any version of the file of Google now that you just downloaded to your internal SD card I'm transferring it to my download folder once the transfer is complete just eject your SD card from your personal computer and on your Android device just click on turn off USB once the transfer is complete and you have disconnected your USB cable we need to put our Android device into recovery mode so press the volume up button the power button and the home button together Once your Android boot logo pops up, leave, leave all those three buttons and you are into the clockwork mod recovery mode. Now what we need to do is browse into install zip from SD card. So what we need to do is make use of the volume up and down button to move up and down. So I'll just move down and for the OK button you need to press on the power button. So I will install zip from SD card and I need to select choose zip from 
internal SD card which I have done and after that move to the position where you have transferred your Google Now setup file or the zip file I have transferred it in my download folder and there I have my key 6 underscore offline dot zip so I will just install it or I would say I would flash it and just wait till it gets flashed now you can see the install is complete now what we need to do is go back and I will reboot the system now so wait till your Android reboots now once your Android has rebooted go to file ES file explorer and in that go to settings in settings make sure that you have up to root enabled and you also should have root explorer enabled and after you enable these two things it will ask you that uh, please give this app super super user permission so give the application super user permission and once you have given the super user permission go to the root actually to go to the root what you need to do is just click on up and you are in the root the root is indicated by a slash I think it's a forward slash and after that once you are into the root go to the system folder in the system folder go to USR folder that's user folder and in that go to SREC folder over there you should have two folders config and NUS NUS is nothing but English US now just keep pressing on config and click on properties now in permissions click on change and the permissions should look like this if it is like this then it is great click on cancel click on ok and similarly check for NUS ENUS you could say again the permissions are what we want so it's great perfectly fine and this verifies that Google now has been installed successfully now I can just click on Google and you can see it shows me the Google now stuff that's my temperature of my current local area and if I click on this speech button you can see it will ask me complete action using so let's say I want to use Google now so I will type, uh, press on Google now I can speak whatever I want to let's say let's speak something hey what's up you can see it works and you can actually ask Google now to give you result for any mathematical equation or any general knowledge question that's really great and another thing with Google now that comes in is dictation feature so let me show you that dictation feature on a message let me create a new message and let's type a new message and when you click on let's type a new message you will have a speech button click on it and start speaking it will type exactly what you want and that's really awesome and it is live typing so it won't stop until and, until and unless you ask the speech to stop so that's something really awesome that comes with this Google Now feature I hope you like this video this is how you get Google Now on your Android device running ARM v7 CPU architecture so that's it with this video guys I hope you liked it please rate comment subscribe and visit techbarrack.com and also the links given on your screen